So the question is, we have been given a matrix whose size is m cross n. So it has m rows and n columns. And our task is to find a sub matrix of size k cross k that has maximum sum. Okay. So we have a m cross n matrix as we can see here one example. Here m is of size 4, n is size 4. So it is a 4 cross 4 matrix and we are asked that given k is equal to 2 so we have to find 2 cross 2 sub matrix whose size is whose sum is maximum the sum of elements so here we see that this sub matrix this one has the maximum sum so how to find it so we see here if we try to solve this problem, so we see that there will be a lot of first thing, many k cross k sub matrix, isn't it? So we will have a lot of k cross k sub matrix. Then the thing is, if we sum all the sub matrices, so there will be a lot of calculations that are overlapping. It is a kind of sliding window. Okay, so we see that it is sliding window kind of thing so this hints us that we can use dynamic programming to solve the question why because if we take a k square sub matrix so we can have relation with the previous sliding windows so let's see how okay so let's see so this is a bigger matrix of size 8 cross 7 and we are asked that okay there is a sub matrix of size 3 cross 3 whose sum is maximum and we have to find so we use dynamic programming because it has optimal substructure and we have overlapping sub problems okay so what can we do so first thing is we can think of a sub matrix as a square that is sliding everywhere. So one thing is that, but again a sub matrix itself can be considered as sum of rows of its elements. Okay. So this square, so it is sum of row one, row two and row three. Okay, so if we consider like this, so we come to a dynamic programming solution that is first let's represent S I J. So we have A is the matrix which is of M cross N and we define first S I J is equal to sum of elements in row I from column J to j plus k minus 1 so it means basically so i'm um, in the ith row so basically let's say here if i is 8 and i'm taking a row and here i'm summing a few columns there so this is particular block is s 8 comma 2 and where k is for us it is 4 so we are summing 4 columns in row 8 which starts from column 2 okay so this is sij and here i know that okay k is my size of the sub matrix okay so sij is sum of elements in row i from column j to column j plus k minus 1 so i'm adding elements of k K elements I'm adding together so this is SIJ so but we see that when we slide so this row now becomes SIJ is basically so if we see this example so this green sub matrix or vector SIJ is S of I comma J minus 1 so it was just one previous column so what happens between these two there is intersection so I'm fine with that 
but I subtract the first element of S i comma J minus one, which is A i comma J minus one. And I add A of i comma j plus k minus 1 so this is the element i add the k new element that was not there in the previous one and i subtract the element that was present in the s i comma j minus 1 but which is not present in s i j so by this diagram you can see so i take this region add this one and subtract this one okay so this is being represented here as a recurrence relation and here what happens, I have to calculate this for i between 1 to m. So this I have to calculate for all the rows. But if I see, so I can only slide this vector from j is equal to 1 to n minus k plus 1. I cannot go beyond the matrix. So this is the restriction. So first thing what I do is calculate these. And we see that it will take how much it will take order of m n time okay so this will be the complexity i will be sliding through rows first and then so the columns first in each row and then we will be traversing each row okay so this is the first step of dynamic programming the constructing the sub problems but we have to construct a k cross k sub matrix sum so we have just calculated one vector of size k okay so what to do next so now we see that a k cross k matrix is combination of k such rows so whatever we had calculated okay so now we define k sum ij so which is sum of all elements in the k cross k sub matrix in a with i and j as top left element of the a i j okay so of matrix A. So here if this is I, this is row I and this is column J. So here is a sub matrix of A with the top left corner as I comma J. So now how can I write a sum, K sum in terms of its previous ones? So K sum I comma J. So when I am calculating this, so as I am coming from top to bottom, so I must have calculated K sum I minus 1, which is the red one comma J. So I have calculated this. These two have some overlapping. What is not overlapping is S I minus 1 comma J. Okay, so this row is not overlapping. So I will dis subtract it and there is something new that is added which is s of i plus k minus 1 comma j so this is added so this is the recurrence relation and here i varies from 1 to m minus k plus 1 my last block can come only till m minus k plus 1 and j also varies and here also this window varies till n minus k plus 1 okay so this was about the dynamic programming problem.